Alright guys, what's the crack? This is Gar, and this is Gar's Wee Beasties. Now, I want to make a couple of apologies, guys. The first apology is for not getting out one of these episodes for a while. I know it's been a long, long time. I've actually recorded two episodes in between this one and this one, but uh, you know me, I've never been renowned for being particularly good with recording setups and stuff, and consequently, yes, all the audio broke entirely like it just the microphone just did not record and anything so i had two big massive episodes recorded for you guys that just didn't just won't ever work unfortunately and as a consequence i've got a couple of things to show you and i'm sorry because i know some of the one of the feedback in the um one of the pieces of feedback from the vlog was that people like to get more of a let's play feel as opposed to a world uh what's it called like a like a like a show and tell kind of world tour type thing i want to try and keep a balance of that um because I, there's a lot of stuff that i just can't do on camera without commentating and there's a lot of stuff that i like to do that i won't be able to do in that way um, but i do need to show you some of these guys stuff now because what awful sentence structure i do need to show you guys some of that stuff now because otherwise you'll be super confused if i just pick up as if nothing happened first of all i want to show you the centertron mark ii that i think you've seen being built but you haven't seen the awesome efficiency 5 enchantment on it now i got that by uh one of my own efficiency 4 books and another one that i think i borrowed slash stole from lying the other thing that you'll not have no known is what i used this for and that is this. I have cleared out a hell of a lot of land and started work on my build. Now, I know I didn't put it in last time because I'm a moron. I put it in, I, get, I, I, I put in places to put this picture in in both the previous episodes that didn't work. But I'm going to definitely put in now the picture that I am working on, <clears throat> that I'm basing this on for this build. Um... I'm going to call it the Charles Garwin Institute of Beastology, and that is because uh, I'm a fan of evolution, evolutionary theory. I studied evolutionary biology as an extra degree in university in between a couple of years of medicine, and yeah, I love Charles Darwin. It's, it's also, it's got a pun, and then because I'm doing wee beasties, it kind of makes sense to me. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Now, I, I went and got a lot of red rock from the Red Rock Village. I don't know if I, I think I showed you some of that, some of that. And I also used some hardened glass. Now, let me come and show you, I think, from memory, if you, if you mine hardened glass, you get it back. Although I'm not entirely sure. So let's, let's work that out. You do? Awesome. Now, let me show you the recipe for this as a consequence. It's really simple. Um, and I've got quite a bit of iron now from the, the, the things I've been doing. So you just get, you basically it's one iron per eight. So it wasn't too bad to get all this hardened gla this glass viewer stuff, it's called. And yeah, that's what we're going to use here. Uh, anyway, now, it's very plain and boring on the outside at the moment. I will be jazzing that up. Um, let me try and show you inside here. This is going to be the entranceway. And the entranceway is here because I'm basically thinking of doing a big bridge sort of platform type thing. Uh, building a system of roads to sort of link all my builds together. I think that's going to be what I'll do. God, I really need to get a gravity gravitation thing. Hopefully, this will allow me to do that sort of stuff. So, as you can see, we come in here, and it's symmetrical for the most part. Now, we've got the two doors. This door takes us into the sort of... Um, What's going to be a sort of corridor full of rooms all the way down here for various different projects. Different bills and different rooms are going to be in different things. So that's the idea of this. This is going to be a general sort of hallway with different floors. I don't know if I'll have staircase. I probably won't because I've got flying. I'll probably just make a sort of tunnel for an elevator or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll make an elevator. We'll see. Um, and I'm going to come up with different ideas for the floor. The basement, which I haven't built yet, but the basement I'm going to have an entranceway. I don't know. maybe Not here, but somewhere. Um, the basement is going to be where I put my sorting system because I need a sorting system. If you have a look over at all these chests, random chests I've got everywhere, I need a sorting system. And I'll probably have <coughs> probably have an applied energistic sorting system with uh, ore processing and everything going on down there. And then, yeah, I don't know about all these different layers, but we'll, we'll think of something. There's always stuff to be putting in different places. Uh, this doesn't mean that I'm getting rid of the wee beast all the wee beasties kind of idea for different projects. I definitely want to build lots of different things. For example, I've got an idea already for what I'm going to do with bees, and I've got an idea for what I'm going to do when I start to start begin to start researching Thomcraft stuff. All that good stuff, you know, it's going to come with some really good builds. Hopefully, anyway, something of the same caliber as these two things. So, 
What are we going to do today? Well, I've actually also handily brought out a little bit of a... Come on. Gar's to-do list. So, let's go through these. We've got sustainable food, build a base, sort of started that, auto mining, auto storage and auto sorting, energy supply, I think I want to build another beast that does mostly energy. Um, experiment with bees, Thumbcraft Tire, the garden, now that's a cool project I have in mind, that's going to be where I'm experimenting with the different trees and stuff in forestry and lots of different forestry stuff. Transport, going to be a mixture of the roads with some, uh, with some, uh, what's it called, railcraft stuff and maybe, maybe some other cool things, maybe some Steve Cart stuff, I don't know. And armor and weapons, I need to get all on, that on the go as well. Now as you can see here, I've got tons of just random junk. Uh, I want to repurpose all my buildings for cool things as well. For example, over here, this is going to be m the the uh, the Garzilla is going to be mostly um, probably mostly um, auto enchanting with the blazes because uh, I've got a cool setup that's going to allow me to put all the books into the Bibliocraft bookcases, which are going to line up here, uh, and then I'll probably use this for maybe uh, I don't know. I'm I'm thinking about using the blaze rods to. Um, to power steam or steam boilers and stuff as opposed to just generators in the end but I'll probably do something with the setup down here it's very very basic at the moment but it serves me quite nicely but yeah as I said as you saw today's project's probably going to be uh, sustainable food now I'm trying to think about where to put that I would like to build a special beast for it to be utterly honest uh, maybe we can put it back here somewhere or maybe we can just put it in one of these floors maybe I'll just put it on one of these floors I think I will you know no, there's not, there's not enough space, to be utterly honest. Right, it's going to go over there. I've decided this... That's where I was going to put my Thumbcraft tire. Um, maybe I could put it... Let me try and explain it to you guys first, before I, as I'm talking about it. Maybe I'll come up with an idea about where to put it. I've got two safari nets here. I'm going to go for a Mine Factory Reloaded... Uh, spawner auto spawner now i've already got one courtesy of dave chaos it needs power but i think we can probably get some power on the go from simple hobbyist steam engines or something something along that i want it to be standalone and i want it to feed into probably an ender pouch let me see ender pouch where is that yeah are these difficult to craft nah we can get that pretty easily um so yeah where can I put this? Where shall I put this? Where shall I put this? Maybe over here? Anyway, what I'm going to get is I'm going to make myself an auto crafting rat burger machine. Maybe I'll just make it a little bit of a, like a McDonald's type thing. Maybe I'll make myself a little McDonald's. Rat Donald's. McRatnell's? I don't know. So as you can see, I'm probably it, all I need to do is get rat and I need to cook the rat. Come on. Which is gonna be pretty simple. I need to get myself some seeds. I got plenty of seeds already. Pumpkin seeds I don't have. I'm gonna to have to find some pumpkins and maybe get a generated a, ge a pumpkin farm type thing going on the go. Um Yeah, maybe there. I don't know. So what we're gonna do for the start is we're gonna go and hunt for some rats. That's the first part of the project. We need to hunt for rats. Now rats spawn as far as the um the wiki t leads me to believe pretty much anywhere as long as it's kind of in the dark. Now underground might be more likely. People don't really know. I don't know if anyone's went into the source code. But anyway, since it's daylight anyway, we're going to have to go on d underground anyway to get dark places. So we're going to try and find some rats. Oh, we've got all these spawners too still. We could do something cool with those eventually. Uh, we're going to try and find some rats. And with that, we only need one to be honest. Although I've got two here. I've got two safari nets for the... For our sins, uh, that's a dead end. But we need. Oh God, what? What the hell just got me there? It wasn't hung. Ah, damn things! I hate Zycraft, you know. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be probably using it for the auto crafting purposes of this uh, of this build, but um, it's still a pain in the backside. I can tell you that much. I love these longfall boots. They are have been a literal lifesaver on more than one occasion come on let's get somewhere dark here we go here we go have i got any torches with me of course i don't 
Of course I don't. Let's see if we can craft some quickly using this. Uh, come on, give me, give me some sticks, wood. Give me some sticks. I don't want my YouTube viewers to not have anything to see. We need to find rats, and then we need to think about where we're gonna put it. Hmm. Maybe I'll build my road off camera first, uh, and then we can have a think about where to put these things based on that. Now this should be enough sticks for now. I think twelve. Yeah. I mean, it's not it's not that many, but it's more than we have coal at the moment. So twenty eight. It's not too bad. Come on, rats. Where I get you? I might uh, just keep recording, guys, and then come back when I finally get some rats. So I will see you when I see you. Got some dark places up here, guys. Maybe we'll have. Oh, oh, that sounds prom. Oh, oh, got two of them. Oh, that's good. Uh, okay, hold on. Come on. Yes. Come on, come on, give me it, give me it. Yeah, oh god, I placed it again. There we go. Awesome. Two rats. What else is up here, I wonder? I haven't seen any skeletons. I mean, like, I don't particularly want to, but, uh, just, just, just commenting. Okay, how much power have we got? We've got a bit, so. You may notice my experience is lower. I died. <laughs> I. I died in lava. Well, I, I fell into lava and I was able to fly out, thankfully, of course, because of this, but then I burned to death, so I had to bring myself back down. Oh, I'm hearing some spiders. Well, that's good. At least I know that we've got spawns and stuff. Hmm, what the hell is that? Oh, oil. And it's nighttime. Fantastic. I wonder how many mobs are at my base. Let's go take a look. I really need to get myself a blink drive, you know? The uh, modular power suit thingy. That would be amazing. I'd just be able to teleport all over the place. Um, I wonder what I should make my rat. Basically, I'm going to make this into a rat, you know, because that makes sense. You want, it's going to be uh, making rat burgers for us. So, yeah, maybe I'll give it a little chef's hat a la ratatouille. That'd be pretty fun. So maybe I'll make it out of grey wool. Mm, dirt and brown wool might be funnier, but grey wool would probably break up the, uh, the brown we've got going on the tree. Maybe somewhere there would be decent. Where's all these? Where's all our mobs? Where is all our mobs? We've been having a bit of a problem where the new mod that we were using, tick threading, occasionally puts the server into uh, into a peaceful mode. It's very frustrating. <laughs> I think that's probably why it took me so long to find rats. It, as, as you heard, we heard we heard spiders, so it's not entirely in peaceful mode, but it just occasionally just goes boop, which is pretty annoying, it has to be said. Now, there's one way we can test this if this is still the case, and that's by going up here to our spider spawner and seeing what's happening with these guys. Oh, no, we're getting plenty of them. So, yeah, we're definitely not in peaceful mode. In fact, some are spawning on the outside. I don't really care about that too much. That's not too big a deal. I wonder how much wool we've got, by the way. I uh, wonder if we've filled up this barrel yet. Not even close. Well, we've got quite a bit of wool. We're just going to need to um, stockpile a little bit more and get some greys and stuff. Maybe, let me think about this. I want the bird to go there. As you can, you can have seen, I'm going to put a Galapagos finch, Darwin-style finch there. Uh... I think maybe there. You know what? I'm thinking probably out here probably would be the best place for it. Yeah, so. What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to start building some roads off camera. Probably just out of cobblestone for the moment. And then when I get a Thumbcraft replacing deal, that'll be good. I'm going to get rid of this little thing here, by the way, as well. Because we don't need it. And it's just a bit of an eyesore at the moment. And I think the Wrathfire's gone out anyway. Oh, it is not. Wow. Well... Doesn't really matter. Got plenty of the stuff, so. Okay, so I will be back after I have done a bit of work on sprucing this place up a little bit. Okay, so guys, to do this, we're going to make ourselves a builder's... What's this? The anti-builder. Hmm. It's a Greg Tech thing. Another no-thingy item. Oh, by the way, guys, I, I said... I, 
Another thing that I said in the pre- two previous unrecorded, never to be seen episodes was thank you very much to everyone who sent me all the links to all the um, updates for Sfax and stuff that I can put in. As you can see, it's changed a couple of the things. I think, you know, I've got an advanced uh, Chandler pack icon now. I don't know if you guys saw that last time, but there's lots of stuff that people have been sending me, so, and I've tried to add as much of it as I can. So, yeah. Then we're going to get ourselves a builder's backpack. Now, I think, I don't know what, a, what's the difference between that? Oh, God, that looked complicated. <laughs> but we'll give ourselves a builder's backpack. So we've got two wool, four string, uh, and two clay and a chest. Now, I have the string. I only have one string. God. Well, I mean, I know I have that string generator, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. I don't know if I have clay anywhere, which is a bit of a bummer. But I think you can make clay. You can transmute it for, with gravel. Yeah. So let's get some gravel out. And oh, I've put my transmutation thing away. But yeah, let's get a stacks of gravel worth what should be 16 pieces of clay, I think. And we can get ourselves a builder's backpack so we can keep all that cobble in it. So we can start building this thing. So, where is it? Transmutation. Let's get it out. Uh, put this there. Bang, 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 and bang. Awesome. Yeah, 16 clay. Let's go get the string, the wool, and a chest. I think I've got chests somewhere, but I can always make one if I don't. Um, yeah, is there any string going down? Let's just break this and pick up some of the string, which we seem to have done without ever interfering with that, which is a bit weird, but whatever. Cool, cool. let's get some wool. Oh, I think it can be any color, so I'll take something like orange, because I made myself a lot of orange wool and then decided not to use it. And a chest. Now, I think I've got chests in here. I know I should have, really, but whatever, we can make one. Let's use... I think we need two pieces, don't we? Yep. One of these. Oh, I wish they had 1.5 auto-holding like auto -holding type stuff, but anyway. Uh, string. Mm, I think it's something like this, is it? Hold on, let me just... Uh, oh, shift click it doesn't work there either. That's a, that's a shame. Okay. There we go. Uh, where's the other wool gone? That was weird. This is all very weirdly... Did I just duplicate my string somehow? Maybe the string isn't there. Yeah, <laughs> it's difficult to tell between uh, phantom string and actual string. Uh, and clay. Awesome. Now, I don't even really know how this works, to be utterly honest. Uh, I think you can shift, right-click, and stuff in it. Oh, I just locked it. Now, I think what that's going to do is... Can't, maybe you can't put cobble in it? Maybe that's a digger's backpack. Bugger. Receiving. Well, let's see. Hold on. Let's see. Yeah. Must be a digger's backpack. What's what, what what's that? We can see if that uh, is difficult to make. Yeah, not, not difficult, but um, we need some more string. Let's see, I wonder what the uh I wonder what the um thing in the backpack gives you. Come on, can I have the string please? One more piece of string. Of course, of course we need one more piece of string. Of course we do. Can I get Damn it. <laughs> I just lost all my string. Uh one piece of string there. Any in the barrel by any chance? Of course there's not should all be automatically crafting. I should probably change that to be a, a, a Zycraft setup soon. <sighs> Come on, string! Still need one more piece. If only I didn't put that a piece away. We've got, we've got one coming. We've got one coming. Let's speed this up. Yeah! Always ends up being five. How bizarre. Anyway. Let's go do this thing. Make ourselves a digger's backpack. Yoink! Looked away a lot, like a lot more, like a lot more than two there, didn't it? Stone, thank you very much. Okay, dog. That was cobblestone, was it? Aha! Aha! <laughs> That's a pain in the backside. <laughs> uh, all right, fair enough. Um, Fair enough. 
So at least I know what happens. I guess you wouldn't necessarily be building with stone, so... Oh, I can never remember where it goes. I think it's in the corners. And then I need another fucking chest, don't I? God damn it. Expert crafting with gar. And um, we've got a chest on the go here. How are you guys enjoying Kingslayer, by the way? If you're enjoying Kingslayer, leave a comment letting me know you're enjoying Kingslayer. If you're not enjoying Kingslayer, leave a comment letting me know why you're not enjoying Kingslayer. That'd be useful. It's not doing all that well, views wise, but you know, pretty well. I can't be too critical about it, to be honest. Uh, let's get this stone away. And let's get. Let's see if we. This, let's see if this works. Uh, throw you away. I think what I want to do is have it always filling up my inventory with a slot of it. And I don't really know how that works, but... Yeah, that's not working. Hmm. Well, we'll give it a go. At least we can carry tons of it on us right now. So maybe it's a... Maybe it's that. So if I put that away and like throw that away... Yeah, that's how to do it. Awesome. So let's see how much we got in us. We can fill it up a bit more, can't we? Yeah, that should do. Okay, time to build myself some roads. You just stay there, Molly. Be right back, guys. So if my calculations are correct, guys, uh, we'll be ending the end. Of, we'll be nearing the end of this episode soon. Which, uh, you know, we didn't get an awful lot done, but we got <laughs> we got an awful lot done in the previous two episodes. So I don't feel too bad. I got to show you some guys some cool stuff and what I thought I'd do at the end of this episode is, is is do a little bit of a sort of experiment with you guys and uh, subs wise um, and ask for input now in the future I hope to be able to do this with uh, my forums and my website post a question and let you guys vote on the outcome to that question and then I'll try and follow that along but uh, in the absence of having that at my disposal what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna borrow some of these signs and put and ask you guys some questions to an to answer in a certain format in the question in the uh, what calls it's the uh, the comment section. So as you can see, we've been bu building the roads here. Now I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, it probably won't be cobblestone in the end, but I'll probably jazz it up a little bit more. But uh, I'm thinking, you know, it'll extend it out that way. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you guys for some help now. YouTube hasn't been going particularly well for me lately, uh, in terms of views and stuff. They've all been on a little bit of a dip, which has been a bit of a bummer, to be utterly honest. Um, I'm, I'm working on some projects that should hopefully bulk, bulk that up a little bit. But uh, one thing that definitely helps more than anything is a like from you guys. So, I just wanted to ask you guys again, if you do like the video, and you enjoy the video, that is, please remember to give it a like. Uh, it doesn't cost you guys anything, but it makes a big difference to me and my overall views so just remember that please and you know if you like it give it a like does no other harm so on top of that I wanted to ask you guys some questions now the first thing is the next build I'll be doing will be the rat burger palace or rat burger Tron or something or whatever so I wanna I wanna ask you guys to put in the comments three things now uh, basically It'll, it'll go like this, right? So we've got... I wish I could just rename signs without having to destroy them. It's so much easier. So, three things. So, A, B, and C. So, A, do you want to me to do a time-lapse type thing of the rat build? Or do you want it to be time-lapse or LP style? Now, LP style would probably mean it would, wouldn't be built over one episode. It would probably be built over several episodes. And I would be slightly concerned about that because I don't want you guys to have to watch more or less the same project over two or three episodes. The second thing I want to ask you guys is where should we put it? Now, I'm going to give you, again, pretty much two options. Let's, let, let's, uh, let's pick this up, actually, so we can lay out those two options here. The first option will be somewhere out there. And imagine an extension of this road out to there to have the rat build somewhere out there. Now, one possibility is that I could extend the road all the way out and have an entire sort of connection like that. Uh, maybe I'll build a central sort of circular plaza where our central thing would be, but that is our main base, so it'd be weird to do it like that. And I want to build a Loch Ness Monster thing there. Okay, so I'm going to give you two options. <laughs> maybe three options. Yeah, okay, three options. Option one is there. Uh, let's call that option one. Option two is somewhere out there. And option three 
is somewhere right there. Okay, so put is your answer to be option one, like one, two, or three. I'd be on there, so let's put that there as well. B, option one, or two, or three. And the fourth thing, I can't remember what it is. Um, I th let me think about this. Let me think about this. What was the fourth thing, third thing I wanted to ask? I think that's for the rat build, by the way. The third thing I wanted to ask is, what, oh yeah, of course. What should we name our base? Now, I was thinking either one of these things. Because it's a whole collection of islands, I was thinking either naming it the Archipelago, and obviously I can't resist the urge for a pun, so I was thinking something like Garcapelago. Gar now, that's really awkward. Or the Garlopagus Islands, or something that you guys come up with. And then I will try and bring that into the entire build. Uh, and I will try and bear that in mind for everything. So yeah, that's basically it, guys. Um, if you guys want to do some art um, or do some sketches of things that you think would be would be nice for the Wee Beastie build, please feel free to tweet me um, or put it on Tumblr or use anything in, in it at all. I love fan art and I particularly love fan art that I could then maybe use in the in the world. I think that would be awesome. I've got all this space back here at the back of this island to use up and I want to make this a bit more organic as well because all I've done right now is just dig it all out, which is a bit of a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, so yeah, I want you guys to give me your feedback on all those three options and anything else you want to do, put it in the questions and I will try my best to respond to as many questions as possible. Um, I read all of you, I read all the comments, I just don't get to respond to a lot of them all the time. I try to use my vlogs to do that, but uh, even then that's difficult. So yeah, if you remember, if you like the video, please remember to give it a like and also in the comment section, please leave your answers to questions A, B and C. Thanks guys. Bye.